Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot Weekend Reading. Let me look at this, 29th and 30th of May, 2021. Okay, got that bit right. We're gonna have a couple of facts from 1,144 random and interesting facts that you need to know. I'm just trying to see it, she knows. <laughs> Rhythm is the longest word without any vowels. Wowzers. The company's Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, is that how you say that? Bugatti, Ducati, <laughs> Lamborghini, I'm gonna regret starting this now. And Porsche are all owned by Volkswagen. I did not know that. That's given me another itchy nose. Almost is the longest English word in alphabetical order. That's interesting for a word geek like me. I like that. Uncopyrightable is the longest normal word you can use that doesn't contain repeat letters. Subdermatoglyphic is longer, however but it's only used by dermatologists. If any of you can tell me what subdermatoglyphic is, sub subdermatoglyphic, yeah, this is a good day for when Mercury's going retrograde on, the, on this very day for reading really long words. I am is the shortest English sentence. I like that. Hmm. Apples, peaches, and raspberries are all members of the rose family. There you go. All US presidents pay for their own food while staying at the White House. Oh, we're gonna love this. We're gonna love this and I may use this, okay? I may use this. Overmorrow is a word that means the day after tomorrow. I'll do it over morrow. Yes, over morrow. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Where's my little Jackie Lovesy? See, there's my little bookmark. Okay, I probably should have chosen the tarot cards before, but I didn't, so let's do, ooh, yeah. We're gonna have a bit of the Muse Tarot. Do you remember, um, I don't know if you have this over in the US, but in the UK, we what did they call it? When you did the school fate, and then they used to have um, Lucky Dip, Lucky Dip, which would be a barrel full of shredded sawdust usually. And then there would be some, it's a bit like Secret Santa, pretty bad presents wrapped up and you would pay your 10p or your 20p and dip in and get your lucky dip. This is Tarot Lucky Dip, okay. I don't know this deck that well and there are some cards that actually I find quite, um, that I don't understand. But never mind, that all adds to the whole flavour of it. typical isn't it that mercury would go retrograde and i will use a tarot deck that looking at now i cannot work out what any of them are i'm just seeing if i've got i've got this whole load of boxes up there and i just wonder do i have the box for the muse tarot and do i have well we're going to go with it people this is what we're going to do okay yeah we are Nine of emotions, that's gotta be the nine of cups, the emotional wish card. We know this much, okay? This much we do know. The nine of emotions. This is Jupiter in Pisces, which is very nice. Um, is Jupiter in Pisces at the moment? I think it is actually. Deborah, let me know, is Jupiter in Pisces? I'm thinking it is. Okay. Jupiter sits really well in Pisces. It's one of Pisces' rulers and Jupiter is the planet of expansion, philosophy and truth and kind of long-term travel and expanding the mind and all of that lovely stuff. And then when you put it as a nine of cups, it's like, what do you really want? 
And I think this is something that's coming up for us with Mercury retrograde, that whole, as we were talking about yesterday, the sea coming back, things drawing back, things, curtains being drawn back, veils being drawn back. That's my curtain, that's my veil. All of that curtain, veil stuff being drawn back. And that's what the High Priestess card is. She's always got, remember behind her, she's got like the veil, it's covered in pomegranates. We always joke about how she's stashed all the toilet rolls from the office, that kind of stuff. When you get this kind of energy, things are being sometimes taken away from you, drawn back from you, exposed. There's that energy or that Sagittarian energy that we've got from the lunar eclipse that was recently happening and we see what we need to see. We see what we need to see and it pushes us into knowing what we truly want in our heart, our heart's desire, not our head, not on paper. Okay. Seven of emotions, the seven of cups in reverse. It gives us a sense of reality and it may be a little bit sobering if I'm honest, it might be a little bit sobering because when you get the Seven of Cups, it's the fantasy future card, it's the fairground grabber, you know, we were talking about the lucky dip, but this is the fairground grabber, which is not, you know, there's a sense of fairness in the lucky dip. He pays your money and he takes your choice, as my mum always says, and you know you're gonna get something. And as a kid, if it's wrapped up and you've and there's a bit of mystery, that's probably enough, you know, to float the boat, isn't it? But what you don't like is being cheated. You don't like being robbed. You don't like the fairground grabber looking like it's gonna grab the really bad Casio digital watch and then going at the last minute. I know. Okay, when the Seven of Cups is in reverse, it's a bit of a wake up call. It lets us know what's real and what's not real. But I think this is a process that's gonna be going on for the whole of June, okay? That's my whole of June mine. The whole of June. Okay, I'm gonna guess, itchy nose, I'm gonna guess that voices are air. I know, it's a big guess, isn't it? Ace of voices, ace of air, ace of swords even, in the um, straightforward tarot, in the Rider weight tarot. This is a clarity, and when it comes, it's going to be what's the word, unarguable with, <laughs> I know, I'm terrible at my words today. Um, it's going to be non-negotiable almost. I think once you know, you're really going to know. And that's going to be a huge relief. We also have in the middle of the reading, the four of air or the four of voices. And this is the four of swords. Nice energy. Making peace with something. Making peace with where you are. Now we also have here the Eight of Materials, which I'm thinking is the Eight of Pentacles, Sun in Virgo. It's not to say that there isn't hard work afoot. There is hard work afoot. And it will be through hard work that you get there. But do you remember yesterday when we had the arrow card and it said that this is the moment where what you desire reaches the material, it reaches what is actually going to come into 3D being. That's what that card is about. It's not that you shouldn't work hard, it's not that you don't put in the hours, it's not that you don't keep on trucking, it's just you make sure you're not trucking constantly in the wrong direction, going down the wrong road, okay? And then we get, I love this card, I just love the artwork, page of emotions or the page of cups and it's got a whole like top that turns into an octopus I want, I want a top that kind of looks like that I know it'd be amazing anyway page of cups means there's going to be some help with this there's going to be just a little bit of someone giving something somebody not pushing something, but somebody offering something. You remember the Page of Cups? And there's a nod to this here with this um, little fish. Page of Cups is normally this page stumbling around with a cup and there's a fish in the cup and they're like, woohoo, do you want my little fish in a cup? And you're like, mm, I don't know. Come back when you've got a horse and some plumage and yeah, something real to offer me. But it's an opener. It's a clumsy opener 
but it will do okay so just watch out for that energy of somebody wanting to offer you some help some emotion a vibe okay that card wants to come out wisdom of the oracle we get between worlds i love this absolutely love this where you move from black and white into flamingo color okay i love flamingos and i love the color of them and this one of course is wearing a crown oh, come on colette baron reed just knew that that had to be wearing a crown it does feel like we're between worlds we are we're into an eclipse season and we come out of this differently you know maybe better maybe worse but differently differently is not even a word but hey today it is okay healing with the angels oracle card we get emerging we are we're emerging i can feel this energy and i like it it's great energy there is hard work within it it isn't that it's just all magic and glitter and unicorns we are putting in the work as well but there is some help and there is a focus on what your greatest desire is what your widest horizon is not just immediate gratification but out there okay interesting reading leave me a comment let me know how it resonates and do check out your individual star sign readings in the description box below and i'll see you soon namaste